Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2018 Ford Ranger XL. A little bit about us here, Pacific Toyota and Lexus of Cairns. I'm standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards. We'll go through about 200 vehicles in a month, making us the largest pre-owned vehicle department here in Queensland. We've actually got a very own showroom there where we actually photograph each and every vehicle as they come through onto the yard. And as you can see, quite a variety of vehicles who had a main yard just near DFO of Cairns. Across the street, you've got the uh, parts and services attached just out the back of the brand new part of Toyota and Lexus. And you make your way towards the city, you would actually come across a second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video though, I'll be going around the Ranger in complete detail, just pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale or any extras that have been fitted to this vehicle. So start down around the front, just making sure we've got plenty of tire tread. Now that is part of the roadworthy certificate, including that driveway price here in Queensland. And up and underneath those arches, nice and clean and tidy for a 4x4, which is always good to see. Making our way around the front end, as you can see, we've got the chrome nudge bar that's been fitted. But keeping an eye out, if there's any little markings or imperfections, do try and point them out throughout the video. Be completely transparent. Front end though, looking to be very clean and tidy. No damages or red dust or anything. A little stone chip just there on the bonnet. A couple little markings of dirt just from those uh, shade sails. But overall, nice straight bodywork. No dings or dents, getting great reflection off that paint as well, which is always good to see. Make our way down the passenger side. Nice straight bodywork, but we'll cover each panel as we go for any little imperfections there. You'd be rubbing off with the thumb nearly. Yeah, that passenger front, plenty of tie tread. Nice and tidy up un underneath that arch as well. Now this is the 3.2 litre engine in this one. As we make our way down, nice strap bodywork, side steps there. There's no dings, dents or scratching. Just a little bit of powder that comes off from the rains on the weekend. Even that tub at the back here, nice and straight. Excellent condition down that passenger side. Plenty of tire tread in that passenger rear as well. So great to see that consistency as we're making our way around the vehicle. You've also got the color coded canopy that's been fitted as well. And as we make our way around the back here, make sure the tailgate nice and straight. No knocks or dents. And you've got your proximity sensors back here on the rear bar. We'll see them in action a little bit later on along with that reverse camera just there. And then you've got your spare wheel up and underneath. Also looks to have plenty of tread as well and nice and tidy underneath the uh, vehicle being a 4x4. While we're back here, we'll have a look inside though. So you've actually got the twin drawers set up here. Plenty of storage space. Good to see a couple of extras on the vehicle. Always a bonus with the wait times for things nowadays. But overall inside, very clean and tidy. No major wear and tear or damages. So they've been very well looked after, which is always good. Down the driver's side now. Again, just keep covering each panel as we go. Beautiful, even having a look at the seals, making sure there's no red dust or anything. Doesn't seem to have had a harsh life off-road, which is always good. And that fourth and final wheel, plenty of tread. Nice and clean up and underneath still. So making our way down the driver's side here. And just keeping an eye out for any dents or damages. Even inside the driver's door, which is normally very common for a chip or two. It's very clean and tidy. It's a little bit of dirt again. So overall, the body looks to be in immaculate condition. Very minimal with any markings, imperfections. Nice straight body work. That reverse angle down that driver's side. We also like to make sure there's no big chips or cracks in the windscreen. Again, part of that roadworthy. And up on the roof, no dings, dents, hail damage. Great reflection off the paint still. And same goes for the roof of the canopy back here as well. Very well looked after. Interior wise, just making sure there's no big wear and tear, scratching or scuff marks on the door carts. Being basically near new condition, vinyl flooring, 
still in great condition and the same goes for those seats no big wear tear cuts or stains and in the back you've even got a couple of connections the ac 150 watt and 12 volt plug just there as well yeah that roof lining still in great condition with no markings either driver's door the most commonly used so anywhere in tear it is likely to show up on this one so we'll have a look over though she also looks to be in excellent condition Oh, there we go, just a little uh, window lock button getting a little worn there. I knew I'd find something sooner, sooner or later. But overall, still in excellent condition through the interior here, just like the exterior. Been very well looked after. Jumping and starter up. So you've got a few keys for the canopies. You've got two for the car, one with the remote. We'll turn it over though, listen to it run. Yep. Controls, you've got your lights there for your side mirrors. You make your way into the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control and also with your Bluetooth hands free uh, once that's all connected to the head unit, a lot more control there as well. Yeah, a couple of things like digital speedo on that, just make sure 87,630 kilometres. We'll check that authenticity shortly with the service history for you. Um, but you've got uh, in the display screen here, that's where that reverse camera will show up. Gives you a good little vision out the back, your little proximity sensor's just there. Just slowly move. As you can see, they're all working. And you make your way down, you've got all your air conditioning controls, a couple more USB and 12 volt connections, and then all your four wheel drive controls just in here with the automatic. But as we can see, up front, very clean and tidy like the rest of the vehicle's been. No damages, wear and tear, imperfections on the passenger side, no fading, cracking, or stickiness on the dash. Again, part of that roadworthy. And we'll have a look in here with the service book. Just making sure she's up to date. It's the main one people want to know about. So we have a bit of a flick through. It had its initial check done there at 3000. Uh, looks to be Pacific Toyota. Uh, Pacific Ford, sorry. Uh, done again there at 15,000. Done at 28,000. Next service at 44,000 there. 62,000. 78,000 so they've always taken it back to a four foot servicing and it's got its full service history up to 78,000 there the next one's not due till 93,000 k's so great to see that perfect service history always back at the same location uh, it shows they really like to look after their vehicles last but not least we'll jump out and have a look underneath the bonnet while she's running obviously make sure those services have been paying off for you As we have a look underneath, nice and clean and tidy. No rust or red dust. As we listen to it run though, no major knocks, rattles or squeals, just that diesel motor ticking over nicely. But that was our virtual tour of our 2018 Ford Ranger XL. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.